Hey guys, what's up? Uh, back again, I'm going to do another video, a little more in-depth review on my NVIDIA Shield TV per the request of you guys. Uh, the people watching, let me start by saying, <clears throat> excuse me, let me start by saying uh, thanks. Guys, I greatly appreciate it, complete, to be completely honest with you. Um, I appreciate the views, the comments, the likes, uh, the subscriptions. I mean, I appreciate all that. Um, you know, it just obviously motivates me to do more. Um, I apologize, I haven't had a whole lot of time uh, as of late to do more videos or to upload more videos because of work. Um, but you guys requested me to uh, make you know videos. Uh, that's something I responded to and, and it's something I am planning on working on. Uh, so right now I'm going to go ahead and do this more in-depth review on my NVIDIA Shield TV. Um, a lot of you, if you do have one, you're probably looking at this to just kind of see what you can do with it. If you don't have one, um, you know, you're probably looking at this just to find out whether or not you should. <clears throat> and I apologize, my the camera is not crooked and the TV is not crooked. It's just an angle. We're kind of looking at it from the right side, but it kind of looks a little crooked. So I apologize about that if, if that bothers you like it would me. Um, but anyways, um, I've had it for um, about two or three months now kind of narrowed down the number of applications that I've used significantly like anything. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only person guilty of doing that. You get a new device and you load all this stuff on it. You play with it, you know, for hours and hours and, you know, do all these cool things. And as time goes by, you know, you start to use it less and less. Um, if that's something that concerns you, like with any uh, expensive or fairly expensive device, I will say if you're like me um, or if this is something that genuinely interests you, I have no uh, no fear that you will not get use out of this device. I have had it for about three months now um, and I turn it on every single day, every single day. That is a fact. Um, what I'm using it for most at this point, as you can see, I have a lot of other applications and things loaded on here. Maybe not as many as other people. I have the things on here that I use or will use at some point again you know just things i don't want to get rid of because you know it's just nice having those and i'll end up using them again number one what i am using is youtube um after having it for for a couple of you know two or three months or so youtube is one that i boot up every single day when i get home from work sometimes in the mornings um i jump in here uh and watch all kinds of different videos youtube is one of those things I mean, you guys are using it right now, so you know what YouTube is. I, there's no reason to explain YouTube to anybody, but YouTube is one of those things that you can do very right or you can do very wrong in terms of the UI. Um, I have seen a lot of very good YouTube interfaces and a lot of good YouTube applications and things, you know, from different device, uh, you know, device to device. Um, but this one is second to none. Uh, this YouTube application on the NVIDIA Shield TV is is absolutely incredible it's you know extraordinary it'll absolutely blow your mind because it makes for me before I had this device I was I suppose a fairly regular youtuber but I wasn't on it all the time I didn't spend hours you know a day on YouTube I didn't spend hours per week on YouTube um, unless I just found you know a channel and I just kind of binge watched it for a long time but for the most part I was a, a fairly low uh, you know, low intake YouTuber. Um, when I got this, I'll kind of I'll jump into that and show you what it looks like. The reason is not because it loads up videos faster. It's not because um, you know it's easier to use. I mean, it kind of is, but it's not because of a lot of things that you would expect. It's something that you actually wouldn't expect and probably wouldn't expect it because you haven't seen many, if if even any other devices do YouTube the way this does. Um, but to me, it is just the perfect version of YouTube, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Number one <clears throat> on our on our recommended tab up here, um, this will show you videos, uh, you know, options that are tailored specifically to you, things that you're watching or something that you might be interested in that's similar to something that you have been watching. And obviously, the more YouTube you watch on here, uh, the more closely it's going to be tailored to your lifestyle. I watch YouTube on here. I've been watching YouTube for probably at least every day for, you know, the past two months or so. Just about, I mean, there's obviously some days that I've got other stuff going on and I can't, but I watch a lot of YouTube on my shield. 
Um, as far as the recommended section goes, though, it's going to show you a lot of different things. Um, like anything, you don't want it to show you all videos that are just almost the exact same. It's going to show you things from... Uh, it's going to show you more videos like the ones you're watching most frequently, but if you watch something else, like a life hack, a couple of videos like that, it's going to show you something like that. So it just kind of keeps things mixed in and keeps things interesting um, and shows you other options, not just one. Um, but... Um, the recommended section is incredible. I, you know, I'll cycle through here every, almost every day that I boot it up, I'll kind of cycle through here and, and just kind of see what I'm in the mood for, uh, get a feel for it and, and decide. And then when you start on that, uh, you're, you know, you're going into a rabbit hole and that is the major thing that makes this YouTube so much better. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. If we start up, <clears throat> we'll start this up because this, you know, I don't, Unbox Therapy is incredible. If you guys aren't subscribed to Unbox Therapy or haven't watched it, definitely go and check that out because I watch a lot of Unbox Therapy. But um, that being said, we'll just jump into something random here. Uh, we'll jump into this one, whatever this little knockoff PSP is. And I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch all of this, obviously. I'm not even really entirely interested in watching it. But what I'm showing you is when you watch a video, um, instead of having to go back out of that video um, and then search through the videos again like you would on your phone and find something and open it up and just kind of rinse and repeat and do that over and over again, you can actually watch, well, let's say we got to the end of this video, we're playing through it, we can fast forward it for now for the sake of time and the fact that I'm definitely not interested in this and you probably aren't either. But say we're at the end of the video now, um, still 20 seconds left, that's even too much, but fast forward to the end, it will jump you straight into um, another video automatically, either um, one by the same channel, one that was uploaded, uploaded by the same people, or it will show you one similar to what you just watched. Probably, it's probably about 50-50 there as far as what it does, um, but it always does it right and I'm never disappointed. Uh, that is just, um, for me, it just makes it that much easier to watch. It's so much more appealing now. It, it is easier to use, um, but it's easy for me to just sit down and I'll click on, like, um, say this video, Three Cool Tech Deals. Um, you know, I'll click on that video and then an hour or two hours goes by and I find that I'm watching something about, you know, uh, Turkish soldiers or something, you know. I mean, it's just, it, it does end up getting a little convoluted but that's not a bad thing it's not so quickly that it's just jarring and it's it's disappointing it is um, I mean it's easy to follow and it you know it just that's what I'm saying is it just takes you into this rabbit hole and it's so much easier to enjoy um, obviously if you start watching something like from this uh, this column here from unbox therapy um, for as long as I have watched one if I clicked on this one for as long as I watched them it continuously plays other videos from Unbox Therapy. I don't think I've seen it one time switch to another uh, channel, but if you click on one from like up here, it'll, I mean, it can take you anywhere. You just don't really know. Um, but it does keep it similar to what you're at. It, I don't know. It just, depending on what's in there, it'll just kind of develop a little bit. But I enjoy that a lot. It makes it a lot more appealing. So that is YouTube. Um, for that alone, I would almost, uh, it's, it's crazy to say, but I would almost pay $200 for for this YouTube application because it's phenomenal. It is, uh, you know, bar none the best YouTube I've ever used. It's better than anything. So that is YouTube. That is what I use most frequently, which, you know, I'm sure you're probably thinking, you know, you've got this, you know, this nice piece of machinery, this nice device that has all this power and all these capabilities and you're using it for YouTube. I know it's crazy, but it is, it is amazing. YouTube is amazing on here. So we will go back here to the home page. Um, I didn't even mention I kind of jumped over it, but I'm sure if you've seen my other video and you're watching this one, it's probably because you've seen my other video and you just want to know more about it. Um, I picked this up about two or three months ago for uh, $199.99 at Best Buy. Um, I uh, got it for $199.99. That deal uh, versus anything else, any other streaming device or set-top box or anything, some may be cheaper. <coughs> But they just don't offer the same bang for your buck as the NVIDIA Shield TV. For that $200 price point that I got at Best Buy, it does come with the NVIDIA Shield controller. Um, it's kind of a mix between like a, an Xbox, a regular Xbox, and like an Xbox 360, also combined with 
NVIDIA's own take, but um, it is a pretty nice controller. Um, it uses a form of Bluetooth, I'm pretty certain. It is rechargeable. You've got your little micro USB here. Um, and the really nice thing is you've also got a headphone jack, a full 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, um, so you can listen privately. Um, all touch right here in this area for your, the NVIDIA button, your home button, uh, start, um, and then the back button. And you've also even got volume buttons here that will control the device volume there. So that's super nice. <coughs> The other thing that it came with for that $200 price point is what I use most frequently, which is this guy right here. And this is NVIDIA's um, kind of version of a just a simple, regular ergonomic uh, remote for video and things like that. You have uh, voice search right here, back button, home button, and then of course directional buttons and select in the middle there. The other thing is you have the volume control as well. A little more inconspicuous it's just it's not marked at all it's just this black bar in the middle that you can control the volume with and that's nice also it of course has the rechargeable micro USB and it's kind of harder to see on this and then uh, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so that's nice I use this every day this is what I use most frequently I rarely use the controller to be honest with you get to focus back on the TV here and we'll kind of go on a little bit here um, the next thing that I use it for, occasionally, not not often by any means, if you're somebody that wants to do this a lot, this is something that would um, greatly, greatly um, intrigue you and, and really draw you into this system, and it's what I got it for, and I just kind of played through everything that I wanted, and, and you know, and things will come up, and I'll go back to it for sure, but that's emulators here. Um, anywhere from NES to Super Nintendo, you got 64, GameCube, PSP, DS, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, uh, Commodore 64, Atari, anything you can think of pretty much is going to be on here with the exception of uh, even DS. I didn't mention that, but even Nintendo DS you could definitely set up. Um, but with the exception of higher end consoles, and that's to be expected, even you know, like a PC you can't run like a 360 emulator or... Um, a PS, excuse me, a PS3 or PS4 games or anything like that, of course. Um, that being said, anything else, if you're a 90s kid or an eight, even an 80s kid or something, you grew up playing these games, this is something that would, would greatly intrigue you and it's something that greatly intrigued me and, and was a, a massive selling point. So, um, that being said, because it is uh, technically a gaming console, I guess, in a way, they do offer <coughs> a lot of, <coughs> excuse me, they do also offer a lot of options for, uh, you know, AAA and, and third-party games that are made exclusively for the Shield or made uh, ports for the Shield or something like that. And those are through Shield Games here and Shield Hub, or not Shield Hub, Shield Now, which is kind of a little bit different than what you may be used to in the sense that it doesn't actually save to your hard drive. The easiest way to explain this is like Netflix for video games. It's a three month, uh, free three month trial, and then eight dollars per month after that. I mean, that's it's it's a no brainer to go ahead and give that a shot, um, especially since PlayStation's they give you like a seven or fourteen day free trial, and then it's twenty dollars a month. So that's kind of a no brainer. Um, I don't use those very often because I do have a PlayStation Four, and that's what I mostly use for gaming. Um, but as far as the ergonomics of the UI and as far as the setup goes, um, I'm, I'm pretty well in love with it. I mean, it's easy to find everything. It's Nothing's really hidden. Nothing is, you know, tricky to find. It's as easy as you could possibly want it to be. So um, when you turn it on, you're first greeted with this menu here. You'll usually start right here, and this will show you, like, recommended items from all over the place. There's not, as far as I can tell, it's not generally tailored to anything you're, you know, using. It's just recommended things for almost no reason, so that's a little odd. Um, but maybe not a bad thing, you know, if you just want to see something random. I mean, they've got plenty of it, anywhere from Play Store games to YouTube to uh, GeForce Now. Um, all your updates and notifications will show up here. Uh, it'll show you YouTube videos that are popular, HBO Go, Netflix, I think sometimes shows up up here. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool if you're just looking for just some random stuff, it'll show you everything right there. Of course, you do have Netflix. Um, this is a 4K device, so if you do have the 4K, I think Netflix has a 4K membership now for a little bit higher quality. If you pay for that and you have a 4K TV, you, you can get that on here. Um, you also have... <coughs> um, you know, a, a plethora of other applications at your disposal that you can download from the Play Store. Something else that was requested by you guys is is just kind of wanting to know how I'm sideloading things. Sideload launcher is kind of a must for these things because a lot of the applications won't show up on the home screen that aren't recognized by the device, such as uh, Mega N64, My Boy. Those don't show up on the home screen at all anywhere. You can download Sideload Launcher from, I don't think you could actually get it from the Play Store. We'll check it really quick. Sideload Launcher. I just don't remember where I got it. Okay, so it may actually be on there. You may be able to just download it from there, but you're going to want that to, it, it just kind of shows you a secondary launcher into the applications. Um, it'll actually show you every application, but it'll also show you the ones, <coughs> excuse me, that aren't uh, regularly on the screen. So those are, are that's kind of a must. You get that from the Play Store or um, you know for other applications. Dolphin Emulator, which is a GameCube emulator, you have to download it uh, an APK from their development site. Just search Dolphin Emulator on Google, <coughs> and it, you should find their development site and download the newest builds or whatever the most popular build is. Um, for other things that aren't on there, I don't remember because it's been so long since I've set up a lot of these apps. Cody, I know that you can get from the Play Store, and that's really nice because that is what I use the most on here aside from YouTube. Um, but say, for instance, PPSSPP, which is a PSP emulator, of course, is not on the Play Store. The way that I sideloaded that is if you, after you set up your Google account, and I'm not going to click on that and, and you know show you what mine is, but after you set up your Google account, on here, whichever one it is, you'll jump onto your computer if you're using Google Chrome. I found that this is the easiest way to do it. I just have a little Asus Transformer. Um, it's just a little Windows 10, you know, kind of budget tablet computer type thing. I don't really know exactly how to explain it, but I jump onto Google Chrome on there, <coughs> go to, I think it's google.play.store, something like that, whatever the Play Store URL is. Go there, um, it'll basically be the full Play Store. You can find any application you want to try out. Some may not be optimized for this device. You'll just have to test them out. But go to um, the Play Store on your computer through Google Chrome. Find the application you want. Um, click install next to it like you normally would on a tablet or a phone. Um, and then it'll actually ask you what device you want to install it on and you just find your shield if it's not supported at all It won't even show it or it'll say it's not supported But click on your shield and click install and it'll immediately install it to your to your shield and that's By far the easiest way to do it another way you can do it if you've if you've tampered with uh, APKs or traditional side loading at all um, <clears throat> You can google the application APK which is the extension, of course, for Android applications, and download it to a memory card, and then copy it over to your device if you wanted to do that. And I have done that for a couple of things, but mostly I just use the Play Store on, on Google Chrome. That's the easiest. You just have to make sure you're signed into the same Google account in Google, Google Chrome as you are on your device. Um, but that being said, um, like I said, if you're watching this, you're probably either interested in buying a Shield TV or you have one and just want to know what you can do with it. The possibilities really are, are kind of endless. There is a lot that this thing has to offer for a $200 price point. That's cheaper than you can get a PS4 for, uh, PS1, or a PS1, an Xbox One, um, you know, about the same approximately as you could get a, a pretty decent PS3 for or something like that. So. For that price point, I think it's definitely worth it for the number of things you can do on it, especially if, like, some emulation, you know, suits you. It is, uh, especially, I mean, the older the console, obviously, the smoother the emulation, but for a device as powerful as this one, even GameCube, you can run at 60 frames per second. You can run, I mean, all kinds of stuff, so it's incredible. If you're thinking about buying this and you do have the money to do it, I would say just go ahead and do it because it's it's absolutely an incredible device. It's a, a gaming console. It's a streaming service. It's you know everything in one, and it just makes it so easy. It's also just so clean. 
kind of zoom down there to it. It's just so clean and so small, you know, that's it right there. And that's just really nice. So you don't have like some giant console. It's, man, I'd say maybe a quarter of the size of a PS4. It's just so much smaller, you know, that's just really nice. But, so that's that, um, as far as size goes and, you know, and, and whether I think it's worth it. I say for sure that it's worth it. Lastly, they say save the best for last. I'm going to jump into the Kodi application, which if you haven't already seen my, my Kodi setup video tutorial on this, go check that out. Um, it'll help you out a lot. I am going to upload another video showing you how to set it up the way that I have mine set up right now, because the other video that I have won't won't show you how to set it up this, you know, to this UI style. This is the best way to have it. I mean, this has replaced Netflix. It has replaced TV, you know, cable for me. It has replaced um, uh, HBO. It has replaced Hulu. Anything you can imagine. This has got everything. Completely free application. Completely free streaming service. You don't have to pay a dime for this. The only thing you have to have is a device to, to use it on. Um, but you have TV shows and movies. I have this all set up to where it's, you know, the aesthetics are extremely appealing and, and beautiful. Um, but, you know, I'll just jump right in here, uh, jump into like movies here, and it'll load up the featured section, which is what I have it set to go into. And, you know, and you've got all these movies at your disposal. Even if you wanted to watch, um, like Deadpool. Click on it, it'll load you up real quick. This is the part that takes the longest. Um, I don't have fast internet here at my apartment by any means, but I have had no problems with this. Um, um, as far as buffering or anything goes with the newest version that I'm using of Kodi here, it's, it's perfect. But we can just go ahead and click on it here, and then it'll actually load us up into the movie itself and, and play through. So, um, and that applies for any movie you could be searching for. There's not been, you know, with the exception of brand new movies that are, are maybe not even in theaters yet or whatever, or still are in theaters. The quality might just not be as good, but any movie that is on DVD or has been out for a month or, I mean, even a week or, or more, obviously, um, I can search for any movie or TV show on here and I can find it. It's, it's you know, it's better than anything you could ever ask for. The way I have this set up is, you know, the widgets makes it just kind of easy to find things. And this, I mean, you, looking at this, you would think that I'm paying, you know, you know, ten to thirty dollars or whatever per month for this service, but I'm paying zero. Not a not a single penny goes out of my pocket for this. And I've been using this for Cody probably about five months or so now. So Cody is just, I mean, it's a no brainer for sure. Um, but that is that. That's Cody. Um, as far as my overall review goes, uh, build of the device is solid. Um, it's very clean looking. It's very unique. It's very fast. It's very powerful. Um, it's efficient. Um, it does do the 4K, you know, next to any other streaming box, any other uh, set-top box or anything like that. I mean, it, you can't compare anything to it. Price might be less on, on another device, but you can't compare anything to it as far as functionality goes. Um, it's just an incredible device all the way around. Just, I mean, really a, a huge thumbs up to NVIDIA for this one. I mean, they, they really, really killed it with this. Um, as far as usability goes, I mean, just as good. Some things could be a little bit different. I couldn't tell you exactly how I'd want it to be set up, um, but I just think it's kind of kind of plain, I guess. There's I, there's nothing hidden, which is a good thing, so I guess I really can't, you know, make that a complaint. It's just different, I guess. It's just hard to get used to. Um, but you do have, up in the top left up here, you have a uh, Google, Google Now voice search, so you can search uh, Google, you can search for TVs, all kinds of stuff, and that works extremely efficiently all the way around. I mean, this is just an incredible device. If you have the 200 bucks to spend or you're in the market to buy something like this, and you're looking at buying one for 150, I would say go ahead and just you know, you know, make the jump and, and jump up to that $200 price point and get one of these guys because this thing is incredible. You will fall in love with it uh, immediately from the unboxing. The box is beautiful. The device is beautiful. The controller is comfortable. The remote is efficient. Battery life is good on on both devices. Um, 
it's just solid all the way around. I use it every single day. Um, I love it. I wouldn't I wouldn't trade it for any other device that I could think of. I mean, it, it's it's just the way to go. If this is what you're looking for, this is the way to go. And for anything you could possibly have a question for, I have set up emulators. I have set up Kodi. I have set up um, uh, YouTube. I've set up everything on here. Anything you could possibly want, I could either tell you how I did it or find out how to do it and then show you. So if you have any questions, um, something you want to ask before you buy one of these or you have one and you want to know how to do it, feel free guys, just go ahead and leave a comment um, in the in you know in the comment section below guys. I'll be sure to go ahead and answer those questions for you in the form of text immediately there if it's something that requires a video. Um, I will certainly try to get to it as soon as possible and get that done for you. I'm just trying to help you guys out. Just trying to give you guys the things that I was always looking for when I was in the market for something like this. Um, so, I mean, all around, just as good as it could possibly be, it's it's phenomenal. So, guys, um, I really appreciate it again. I really appreciate the, you know, the comments, the likes, the support, um, you know, the followers or, you know, subscribers. I guess we're talking about YouTube. Um, all that stuff, guys, I greatly appreciate it. If you like this video and you aren't subscribed already, go ahead and uh, do that subscription, guys. I would greatly appreciate that. I'll keep bringing you guys some more videos like this. Uh, go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it. If you have any problems with it or anything or would like to see anything different, feel free to leave a comment below, um, any questions or anything right there, and I'll you know, love to help you guys out. Thanks a bunch.